Those bullying claims against the former royal Meghan Markle appear to have gone away, or that is seemingly the case if you read the tabloid newspapers. But as ever, we unearth the truth. And what is the truth regarding this particular story? Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for your time today. Lovely to see you. And as ever, we like, as I say, to unearth the truth. It's truly all about this channel because when you see things in the paper, I don't know if you're like me and you think, that can't be true, surely. And of course, you dig a little bit deeper. I'm lucky, of course, because I have the contacts, the sources. I do work in the media for other news channels and we have access to things that possibly some of these reporters don't. A lot of reporters, if you notice on mainstream media, just lift everything from the internet, from other channels, from other magazines, and purport it to be their own. Very strange when you think about it, because by definition, then, what is a reporter? Mm -hmm. Is it a journalist or somebody who just borrows other people's work from the internet? There's me having something of a rant. But anyway, moving forward, this particular story caught my eye and it's strange in itself because as we recently know, Meghan Markle was currently celebrating that slight victory, shall we say, against the Mail on Sunday, the Daily Mail and the Mail Online over that private letter being leaked and of course <coughs> reported in their newspapers. One person, of course, who was very angry, and we told you about that here on this channel, is none other than Meghan's father, Thomas Markle. Naturally, he wanted his day in court. And so far, that particular thing could in fact go to the Supreme Court. They haven't decided yet what they wish to do. So perhaps Meghan could have been, well, prematurely <laughs> celebrating, but we'll just park that there for now. This particular story really centres on the ongoing investigation privately by Buckingham Palace into those allegations that Meghan bullied staff and likewise they felt well threatened by her presence while working for her in a short tenure as part of the British monarchy. What's interesting to note is this particular report claims that in fact only three members of staff were indeed interviewed about this particular time. Well, let me tell you the inside track on this story. The true story about that particular breaking news is this. Yes, there is still an ongoing investigation with all staff members who worked both for the former actress Meghan Markle and, of course, his once Royal Highness Prince Harry during their time, not just at Kensington Palace and, of course, subsequently for their stays in Buckingham Palace, but also their time at Frogmore Cottage, in which they still did have court staff. Now, as for there just being three staff members being seen to or interviewed by, yes, there have been three major staff members who have sat down for a considerable length of time for a chat. But it does not stop at three staff members, let me tell you. The investigation is ongoing, and as our gracious Majesty the Queen famously said, recollections may vary, and of course, that she wants the investigation to be dealt with privately within the family. Now, we're not quite sure exactly where this particular story came from, but one could only suspect <laughs> where that possible leak could have come from. But let me tell you first here on the show, this is ongoing and not going anywhere because Her Majesty the Queen is very thorough, as is, of course, His Royal Highness Prince Charles. And the one person that you wouldn't want to cross who seriously wants to get to the bottom of these ongoing, as she says, terribly damaging stories is none other than Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal Princess Anne. As you can imagine, she was very hurt by those claims when they came out originally in the interview. So for the fact that this is now concluded and of course a result should be imminent, let me tell you, that won't be for some time. And once again, if Harry and Meghan feel that this has now gone away, they truly need to think again. Harry himself should know that there's one thing the British monarchy do, and that is, of course, thorough investigation. Neil Sean in the heart of London.